Hey everybody, welcome back to A Slice of Gaming. I'm the only Python 4, and this is Paper Mario, the A Thousand Year Door for the GameCube. And last time we left off, we were gonna go head off to the Glitz Pit for our next star. So let us go in that direction, because we got ourselves a blimp pit ticket. A blimp pit ticket. So let us take the a blimp to Glitzville. Then please watch your step as you step aboard. Nobody else is going on board, just me. Only room in this blimp for me. I almost called it a boat. Is it a blimp? Is it a boat? Is it a train? Who knows? We're gonna take all of those things in this game. Just no planes. Just blimp. So, who's ready for the next chapter? This chapter's okay, I think. But a lot of the problems with the chapters of this game, I find them, like, especially with, like, the last one, you have to go back and forth a whole bunch of times, so there's gonna be another one where that's gonna be the same thing. This one is just a meaty chapter as well. It's just, like, I feel like a lot of the chapters in this game are heavily padded with things that don't necessarily need to be there. This one, I will go into why, more so why I feel that way. But of Glitz and Glory, Chapter 3. Let's get started. There it is in the distance. That pink-ish thing. Let us go there. The one thing that is good about this chapter is that um, there's a song that plays for one of the fights and it's actually really, really good. I quite like it. Let's stop staring at it and go. I was pressing, I was mashing A as fast as I could. I think if you travel to this place again, you don't have to see this, I'm pretty sure. But for now, oh, we have to see it land. I do really like the chomp on top. That's probably my favorite thing. Although that blimp and us seem like huge in comparison to that thing. It watches like a little tiny thing. That would be kind of nice. Here we go, it's a glitz pit! Tell us about this place, Goombella, as I'm sure you will. <gasps> no? Oh. Well, no doubt about it, this is Glitzville. Can you believe it actually floats? Souvenir shop! Oh! Gotta go there first. That's where I always go when I go to a new place, as I gotta buy some piece of garbage to say I was there. Well, let's get to it, huh, Mario? Let's find that crystal star as fast as we can. Yes, let's. But first, we gotta check out everything else. Glitzville hangs on in the clouds. I'll give you two guesses why I like it here. Uh, clouds would be the best thing. You wrote the blimp here, didn't you? Boy, I envy you. I'm dying to ride that thing, but air travel it makes me yak. I guess she's just stuck here forever. Let's answer the phone. Well, hi there, Murphy. It's Coop from the Mayor of Pedalberg. How's Coops? Yeah, I thought maybe it'd be somebody different, but it's cool that you can answer the payphone. Not that anybody uses those anymore, but still. What do we got for sale? And what do I have in my inventory, even? I got a bunch of healing stuff. Uh, What I think I might do is I think I'm going to stash this for now because I don't think I need that much healing stuff and I'm also going to shove one of these mushrooms in here too and I will take one of these instead because having a battle item is always a good thing I always think, I don't know if it's actually a Wiimote but that's what it looks like because I'm pretty sure like this game came out way before that thing was announced but I just it just looks like a Wiimote that he's holding to me <gasps> hot dogs I would like to buy a hot dog Hello there, you customer! The aroma of yum in the air is the specialty of Glitzville. Mr. Huggles' famous hot dogs. Only ten coins for one, yes. Did I buy a hot dog? Is it in my inventory? Where is the hot dog? Where, where, where is it? Where's my hot dog? I bought a hot dog. Where is it? He didn't give me no hot dog! You ripped me off. But I get to have a picture with a hot dog. Unless it's like somewhere else. I wanted to buy, I bought a hot dog from you. Give me my damn hot dog. Where is it? That's it? No hot dog? Oh, 
I wasted twenty dollars on hot dogs. I find this floating city cot so quite fascinating. Yes, it intrigues me. I wonder what sort of coinage one might shell out to build a vacation home here. So, this is Glitzville, hmm? Not a bad place, if a little on the daughtry side. Perhaps I'll begin my stay here with a hostel buyout of that host hot dog stand. Ooh, yes. Can you get me my hot dog? Daddy, I'm hungry and I want to eat a hot dog and I want to eat it now. Listen, kid, do not go to that hot dog stand. You see that hot dog stand over there? Best hot dog. Stop rubbing it in! I didn't get no damn hot dog. Ugh. <sighs> I'm still like, where did the hot dog go? Where's the hot dog? Why didn't I get a hot dog? Tell me where your hot dogs are. I also can't get that yet. I need an upgrade of my jump first. <gasps> An end coupon! Oh, there it is in my inventory! I looked there, though! There was no hot dog! What? Excuse me. No. I checked my inventory. You guys seen me. I checked my inventory. Did you see a hot dog there? I didn't see no hot dog. What a lie. What a bunch of lies. That's such a lie. Where's my hot dog? It's in your inventory. No, it's not. It wasn't anyways. That fabulous mustache. I've seen it somewhere before. I know it. Yes, Mario. That is definitely a name I heard somewhere before. Nope, you never heard of me. Hey there and welcome. Our doors are always open for thirsty fight fans. So grab a frosty juice and take a load off and enjoy. Uh, you don't look very familiar. You on vacation? Me? I'm just a lack of dude who digs on combat sport. Do not meet you. Today's main event will rule. I'm betting on Rockhawk! No matter who's fighting him. Gotta love Rockhawk. He's kind of great. I like him. And can I press this button yet? This big ol' switch? Hmm, let us find out with my new jump ability. I'm gonna go on your roof and take your treasure. Don't mind if I do. Let's see what's inside. Please don't let it be a hot dog, I swear to god. Okay, good. That's actually real good. What are my badges right now, anyways? Let's find out. Uh, probably a bunch of garbage I don't need. I don't really need Happy Heart right now. Oh, and you need six. Ooh, that's a lot. Guess I will put on Happy Heart until I get more badge points. I feel like I need to do a badge upgrade soon. Once again, totally forgetting like what I've done five seconds ago. I think it's badge next, I want to say, I'm pretty sure, because I know I did HP last time. Hey, guess what, idiot? I'm on your truck now. That's not going to do anything for me. At least right now. So it looks like I've checked out anything that we can in this area, so let's go inside. Let's see what this place is all about. Hey, paparazzi, you knew I was coming, huh? Move to one side, small fry. The only thing my camera shoots is famous athletes. Well, you know, I was in a sports game before, like, lots of them. Yo, out of the way, pal. I don't do stories on nobody, sorry. Move it or lose it. Listen, you. Welcome to the Glitz Pit. There's a guy over there who gets paid to say that, right? Boy, it's hard to find a guy that's clean-cut and responsible these days. See? <sighs> I sigh just thinking about him. Why is, like, there's at least, like, one person in this game that's, like, weirdly obsessed with somebody? Hey, by the way, you got a stalker over there. Just throwing that out there. Hey, buddy. Well, hello, Mr. Mustache. We meet again. What are you doing here? Are you here for badges, or are you here for something else? You know, like a little little something-something, like a little, little, little bit of battle? I can't remember if you could blow these off or not. I'm pretty sure that's, like, a thing later, I want to say. I'll just keep her around for now. Well, hello there, you big, burly hunk of man. You, you're smashing, dear. But I'm afraid I'm only interested in the champion, Rockhawk. Toodaloo! He doesn't see you as anything. Sorry, bub. Only authorized people pass this point. If you're looking to see a match, head through the main doors. Listen, I am more authorized than anybody here. I am the hero of this game. I got ripped off of hot dogs. Hey, how you doing, bud? I'm a freelance cameraman. I'm always after a scoop. I could have swore that, like, you could take these posters off, but maybe I'm thinking of something in the future. Hey, small child. Hey, Mr. Mustache Guy. Where's Prince Mush? I don't know. Hi, we're here because my son is a big fan of the former champ, Prince Mush. But it looks like he's not around anymore. 
And we came all this way just to see him. Bit of a crying shame, really. That's just too bad. Put you back in because you were my star boy. I guess Gambilla is as well, but he's just better. Alright, so let's go check out the upper lofts of this place and see if I can get a good glimpse of the match. Here we go. Sneak preview of what we're going to be doing. And somehow we're down here. Because that makes a lot of sense. Wow, this place is so cool. Hey Mario, look up there. There's a battle match going on right now. That's right! Ugh. I think it's about time for you to feel the rock! You shouldn't be jumping on him and he has a spike on his head. Stay down, Pinkwishin! You don't want any more of this! Why you even show up? Yeah, you heard me talking, Wibby! Stay out of the ring! Feel the burn, baby! Tell you what! Do about a million push-ups, then come see Uncle Rockhawk! I'll give you another world spanking, world class spanking, and send you crying home to Mama again! Hoo-wee, champ! That was a great eye whooping! Your thoughts on the match? You call that a match? Ain't there a fighter out there who can challenge me? No, no one can't hear me! Ain't a fighter out there who can't make me sweat! They all a bunch of little crybabies running around in their stinky diapers. You got a bone to pick? Come find me, bring it! I'll take on anyone! You weaklings might as well stick to video game fighting, okay? Cause I'll hurt you. Yeah! Number one, baby! Rock Hawk and Skip! Ha 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 Um, you see that, Mario? The thing on that shiny belt. Is that a crystal star? Yeah. Yeah, it's gotta be. That sparkle's a crystal star. Um... But that doesn't make much sense at all. Why would it be on that guy's belt? Look, you don't know what how wrestling works, do you? We gotta get ourselves a belt. Boy, I don't know, Mario. It's not like we can just steal the guy's belt. Actually, you probably could. Or can we? What should our move be here? Steal that thing! Well, actually, the more respectful thing is to battle your way to the top. That's the ticket, Mario. Do this thing right. All you have to do is become the champ, and you'll get that belt fair and square. So I guess we better get started. There must be a novice sign up somewhere. My tummy's getting upset. Let's find the guy in charge before I lose my nerve. You know, stealing it would actually, like, be a lot easier, and would save us a whole bunch of time. Just throwing that out there. What's that, bub? You want to become a fighter? Hmm, well, if you're serious... Better go meet with Mr. Grubba, the promoter. Mr. Grubba's office is just down the hallway. You can't miss it. Head on through. I'm gonna sneak in all the lockers and get all the autographs and sell them on eBay. Oh, there's guards. Well, uh, never mind then. So much for that. Hmm, that door seems important. That door seems more important. That door seems less important. Is this his office? This is the champion's room. Ah, I see. Is this the grub lair? Major League. That's probably the ring. This is... Minor League. So where... I'm guessing it's the door... Over here, perhaps? It's gotta be one of these doors, I mean, obviously. What's that? You wanna be a fighter, bub? Oh, all right, go on in. Mr. Grub is just inside. Thanks, buddy. Who would tarnish? Now you, son. Who let you in? This is Grubba's office. Yep, that's me, Grubba. And you were your one root dude coming in without knocking. Look, I want to be a fighter. What now? An athlete, huh? You want to be a fighter? Look, I'm like level 8, alright? I can take this. Hoo-wee! That dude changed a thing or two, son. I always got time for an up-and-coming newcomer. Yep, this place is packed to the gills with young fighters all primed and ready to go. I gotta say, son, you're a bit skinny for my taste, but I'm willing to give you a shot. Now, play me straight, son. You wanna live that glamorous life of a champ, don't you? Darn skippy! Alright, alright, son. I hear where you're coming from, son, loud and clear. 
If anybody knows somebody that's actually named or it says Darn Skippy in real life, please unfriend them. In every way. When I was just a poor pup, I didn't give a pokey's patoot for Fancy's big city ways. But I jumped into the world of martial arts and fought my way to fame and riches. You know what I realized? Being rich and famous is diggity dang dynamite! Now I can't mix it up in the ring no more, but I earn enough to set me for life. You read me here, son? Dreams do come true, even if they ain't yours exactly. Yep, that's the key, son. Dream big and you'll get big. That's the winner's way. And when you make it big, you look back on all those small dreamers and laugh. You reading me here, son? I wasn't paying attention, what? Yeah, sure. Of course. That's the spirit, chief. Here, let's have a little walk and talk. Come on, now. Alright, we're gonna learn about wrestling, man. To learn how to do an uppercut. Grand slam. Shoulder pinch. Cross arm punch. These are just things I'm making up. This is a nice room, like the carpet. Looks soft. Now, how you like this pod? Just feast your eyes, go on. This is the champion's room. Isn't it a sight? Deluxe! You become champ soon, and you get the key to this room. That ain't all, of course. That's on top of the money. Big money and screaming fans. Yeah, no doubt about it, son. Apply yourself and a life of wealth and comfort awaits. And so we move on to the next room. Now, uh, here we have the Major League Locker Room. A lot of contenders here. What you think, son, huh? Not exactly glamorous, but it's clean and comfortable. Totally sanitary, too. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I care about my fighters, darn it. Now, I'm sure you know this already, son. But there ain't one but world champion. Clawing your way up to the top and taking the belt to become champ ain't an easy thing. But that's the point, son. Wouldn't it be worth it if there was no challenge? I can see you got fire in there, you two, Pod. You got an eye of a tiger there. You're gonna be champ. I can just feel it. Ain't never been so sure about a fighter. Oh, hey, uh, one other thing. You gotta sign a little bitty contract to be a fighter. Ain't no thing. Just take a second or two of your time. Just jolt your name here, okay? Sign me up. Let's not even read it. It's fine. Best thing you ever done, son. Now, your Mario ain't a bad handle. Still, I gotta say, Pod, it lacks little punches of fighter's name. You get me? Let me see here. Bam! Hooray! I got it! From now on, you're gonna be... The Great Gonzalez! Ain't that a beaut? Dang it, if it ain't a stroke of genius, I name that good comes round a lifetime. Yep, everyone will soon bow before the Great Gonzalez. Make the proud, son. Sh sure. Now we gotta get now that we gotta get business side out of the way. Jolie, can you come in here for a minute, darling? You look like the lady in the lounge room. Yes, sir. You wish to see me? Sure did, hon. Jolene, this is the great Gonzalez, our newest rising star. Be a peach and take him down the minor league locker room already. Right away, sir. Mr. Gonzalez, if you would be so kind, please follow me. Bye, manager guy. I guess. As you know, you are a contracted fighter now, so you must abide by some rules. First and foremost, what Mr. Grubba says goes, period. You must do what he says. Also, as per your contract, you cannot quit until Mr. Grubba releases you. There are many other small guidelines that I will explain as they become relevant. You are here forever. Hmm, looks sanitary. Footsteps on the wall, holes in the... walls? Well, here we are. This is your locker room. You're starting in the minor league, of course, as you now just started your career. If you don't like this ding dingy room, I suggest you work your way up through the ranks. When you're ready to fight, you just log on to this computer terminal over here. 
Mr. Gaba will then decide who you match up against. You'll have no say in this. Why don't you try it once, walk up to the screen, log on with A. Then pick reserve a match. Let's use our Game Boy Advance to do it. Here we go. Well, howdy, Gonzales. Get ready to do it. Get there. Yeah. Get ready. You ready to get your fifth? There you are. I got a treat for you. Your first battle's gonna be against Goomba Bros. Don't you worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just bump them up, okay, son? Hey, we want to get everyone fired up, so at least appe so appeal to the crowd at least once. You got any questions about the detailed rules? Just ask lovely Miss Jolie, okay, son? Well, good luck, pod. Okay, your battle is reserved. At this point, you just wait until security comes for you. Fighting is pretty basic. The team that drops to the opponent's HP is zero first wins. If you beat an opponent who's ranks above you, your ranking will go up. Then again, if you lose to a lower-ranking opponent, your ranking will go down. Simply winning is not enough. When Mr. Grabas sets a fight condition, follow them. In this case, the condition is to appeal the crowd at least once. Fairly easy. If you satisfy the conditions and win, you can battle a higher-ranked opponent next. If you can get your ranked up to the 11, you'll get a shot at the Major League. That's about all you need to know for now. Do you understand all that? Okay, good. For now, just wait till security comes gets you, Mr. Gonzalez. Hey, bud. <laughs> I do believe I'll go up for my regular stroll soon. Mm-hmm. Sounds suspicious. Oh, no, it's security. No. I don't want to go. We will get destroyed. We have other things more important to do. Excuse me. Goodbye. Get out of here. Alright, fine. Whack! Mustache is a fighter. Yep. If you have any questions, feel free to bomb. Ask me. I outrank you after bomb. Take care of yourself, dog. And don't make any rookie mistakes. Know what I mean? Yeah, bro. Alright, here we go. It's match time. You know, for a busy place like the Glitz Pit, I thought it would be have more of a crowd here. Squaring off next, folks, are the Hoppin' Hardheads, the Goomba Bros. And newcomer with a hankman for hammer, the Gray Gonzalez. The Goomba Bros have been waiting to get all hit up for this fight. Let's check in. How do, Goomba Bros? How you feeling today? You ready for this fight? Uh, you can't be really always ready to bomb a fool or two. Who's Gonzalez, your geekcock idiot? That's who just waiting makes us mad. We're really gonna teach this tardy punk how to respect fighters with seniority. I think maybe you ought to call an ambulance for him now just to save time later. Hot diggity dang, fight fans! There's the great Gonzalez now striding up! I tell you, this rookie's got some guts strolling up late like he owns the place. Who? Okay, now, Gonzalez, listen up. Let me explain the rules of the match real quick. Have a bot, punk. <gasps> you I was supposed to get the rules of the match. Oh, no! Hey, that's no fair. You can't attack before the bell rings. That's cheating. Come on, Mario. We can't let a bunch of cheaters beat us. Let's take them down. Oh, quite quiet. Well, yeah, that's a little welcome gift for the rookie. Where's our thank you? Uh, okay, we're gonna appeal with you. Because then Koops can just murder the everything. Okay, let us kill the everything. There we go. And we're gonna even show off a little bit more to the crowd. That's what you like to see, right? Beautiful. <sighs> the great Gonzalez wins! Tell me, son, what was his first taste of victory like? That battle was savage. <sighs> what a joke. I'll tell you what I just saw, folks, a whooping. This kid's got skills. We got ourselves a new hero. Let's hear from him, folks. Yay, the great Gonzalez. We did it. We won a match. Now to rinse and repeat this. About ten or more times. 
Well, Gonzalez, that fight wasn't a total loss. But listen, some fighters gotta play to the crowd, you know, pump them up more. I'm hoping you'll give me more razzle-dazzle next time, huh? We understand each other? Good, I'll be on my way then. Miss Jolie, who here will give you five money. See ya. Yeah, so instead of winning coins directly from the monsters, she'll give you them instead. Thanks for the three dollars. The next fight will not be set up until you reserve a match. You can also check your current ranking on the terminal screen. Feel free to do whatever you like until the next fight. You have a nice day, Mr. Gonzalez. Thanks, buddy. Yo, Rook, how's your first fight, dog? I'm King K, man. Just a bushly scrub like you. Good meeting you, man. You look like a stand-up dude. I think I can hang with you. Hey, so why don't you meet the gang, huh? This guy's here, Master Crash. Nice to meet Bob. Well, now that we've gotten to know each other, I will give you advice, Bob. As Miss Jolie was saying, you better Bob obey Mr. Grubba's conditions. If you clear the conditions and win, you get to fight hanger rank foes, Bob. If you can't clear them, you Bob end up battling lower ranked fighters, Bob. You can't climb the bomb ranks and tell you, or you can't climb the bomb ranks fighting the bottom of the barrel, ba bomb. Yeah, man's got you know speech issues, but he's got good advice sometimes. Not just sometimes, bomb advice is always useful, ba bomb. Right, man, whatever. Anyway, this lean mean machine over there is Bandy Andy. Heh, <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm not in here too often, but if you see me around, say hi. Oh yeah, if you sleep in the bed over there, your HP and FP will fully recover. It's not like the cushy bed in the champs room, though. Those refill star points. Okay, cool. And this last guy with the sweet purple kicks is known as Kleftor. Gah! Kleftor don't like men, like make friend with mustache. Easy there, Kleftog. Do need the friendliest guy, but you get used to him. Anyways, that's the call mine elite crew, man. You need to ask something? You need something? Ask us. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. You and me gotta eventually square off, so good luck, man. Look, dude, I, I don't wanna fight you. It's just the way it is. I'm always looking for the best bomb bomb way to blow myself up in the ring. You should think of how to, to make your moves a bomb cool as well, Gonzalez. As fighters, our job is to enter the crowd. Bomb. I am not here for that. I'm here to win. What? No closer! <laughs> I do believe I'll go out. Yeah, we know. We know you're gonna go out for your stroll, boy. We know what you want to do, boy. Alright, well, there's nothing here. I can't smash that either. I don't think I need to do anything else, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you the rankings and see where we are. So we are uh, number 19, as you can see, so there's going to be, uh, you know, at least 10 more battles. Um, the most important one on there is going to be the Harmored Harriers. That's the most important battle that you'll see. Um, and outside of that, everything else is just kind of like, like the next one is the KP Koopas, which is just Koopa Bros, so on and so forth. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll show off some of the fights in the next part. So I'm going to end this here. Thanks for watching.